Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be how I live my baby hairs on my lace frontal. Today's hair is from longqueehair.com. You've seen this hair on my channel before. I've actually had this hair for over six months now and I'm really loving how it's been holding up. So the first thing that I'm going to do is take a spray bottle and wet my hair so that I can brush it into the neatest possible ponytail I can get it into without fully detangling my hair. I did it this way just to show you guys how I lay my baby hairs down because I was a bit in the rush, but no tone. Now, what I found in doing this method is that powder really doesn't tint the stocking cap as it should. So I've been going in with a liquid foundation as well um, and just working it in because it actually tints it a little bit better than the powder does. Now, I've switched up this part a bit. So what I used to do is what I'm doing now. I would take the got to be glue gel and I would just put it over the cap just to glue it to my hairline or st stick it to for better words to my hairline and then cut it off but what I found with this method is it's so messy to my liking it's not really messy but it's just the fact that this gel is really 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 sticky and what I found is that when I just use the got to be sprayed in the areas across the front of the cap to lay it down, it's a lot easier. And I only use the gel to actually lay down the lace, if that's what I'm using on that day. But yes, I don't use the gel to secure the cap anymore because quite frankly, it's just not worth it. And as you can see, the ears are still plucking up on the side and I had to work those down. But anywho, we just work with it. So I'm going to put this wig on. And I'm going to show you exactly how this aligns. So once I get this to the front of my head, I put it right where I put the guy to be glued in the front. And I don't use my fingers. I just use a whatever I have at the moment I'm using scissors normally I try to use the end of the comb just to lay it down and the more you get it laid down into the skin the better it would look so if you can see the um the area in the back where my frontal meets the back of my wig and you see that there's an area missing some hair I purposefully remove those purposefully or is purposely whatever I purposefully move remove those tracks to lay them a different way because the way I laid them before I was being lazy and they started to pluck so I'm going to go ahead and fix that off camera so I'm just taking any extra lace off that doesn't need to be there and as you can see I have the lace pretty much laid and it looks horrible honey so now I'm taking some powder just to blend that in because this natural cap can get to looking like a naked rat oh my goodness it's just something about the color that is just not very pleasing but i will say when you put makeup on it it definitely helps it a lot so to do my actual baby hairs i'm going to use foam first just to see where i want everything placed and then I'm gonna go back with my gel. So first I'm just gonna go in with the foam because I play around with my baby hairs a lot. Y'all don't be staring at the hole while y'all supposed to be worried about me doing these baby hairs. I know the hole is there, I'm gonna fix it off camera. And also I'm styling my baby hairs for me to wear my hair down and um, with this side part that you can see. So I do do my baby hairs a little bit larger when I'm wearing my hair down because if I do them really small sometimes they get lost in the hairstyle especially if I'm wearing curls and then they're not really noticeable and I don't spend all this time on my baby hair so they don't get noticed at all you know what I mean I want <laughs> I want you to be able to see them just a little bit sometimes if you go too natural when you're wearing your hair completely down then you know they don't even notice them So I'm going to go ahead and finish up these baby hairs so y'all can see the end result. 
And don't forget, I already told you what that hole was, what it's front towards me in this wig. I will say I'm still learning with lace. I don't think I'm 100% the best, but I am getting better and better with each wig that I do. So don't be too harsh on me with this journey. And as always, I'm open to your recommendations in the comments section. Y'all know I read y'all comments. Okay, look, you see? It's not, ain't nothing going on. Where all that stuff was at, I done covered it up. Ain't no holes going on. Ain't nothing going on. We could. But yes, this is how I lay my baby hairs. I'm going to be doing an up and slake. If you're interested in this makeup, it will be my next upload. Guys, if you like this video, don't forget to thumbs it up.